You ready? Yes, sir. AFC East preview. Let's jump in. All right. The New England Patriots. Well, hey, you know what? This is what I did the last time, right? Yep. Like, we should be better organized. I swear. We should absolutely be better organized. Uh, we got the Patriots, the Bills, the Dolphins, and the Jets. That is the order that they finished last season. We're going to start out with the Patriots. Start with the Patriots. That's your boys. That's, that's my that's, that's your group. That's my team. I'm all right with that. Look, uh, Brady is back. He's 41 years old. It, it, there were so many rumors in the offseason. Gronk was going to get traded, right? Like everybody talked yeah. about that. Tom was going to retire. Ta- yeah, Belichick was going to retire. So Belichick was going to go coach the, 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 the Giants. I mean. <laughs> now, they, they did lose Danny Amendola. They signed Eric Decker just a couple of weeks ago. Um, eh, you know, their top two draft picks, both injured right now. Sony Michelle, I think, is going to come back this year, right? Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back play. in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, but Isaiah Wynn, however. Gone. Gone. That's Out a problem. He wasn't starting anyway. Uh, they added Jason they McCourty. Not that they didn't need him. No, nah, they, they needed him, uh, for, especially for depth. They added Jason McCourty to replace Malcolm Butler in the secondary. The defense finished number five in total defense last year. And a big piece for me that I don't really see a bunch of people talking about, uh, Cordero Patterson. They added him a wide receiver. I loved him at Minnesota. It's it's not that, well, he was kind of a one-hit wonder at Minnesota. Um, and then he fell apart, went to Oakland, couldn't do anything there. He's definitely going to change the kickoff game, field position. Um, and Yeah, uh, he, he fell apart in Oakland because they didn't know how to use him. You yeah, think but, that Bill's but not going to know how to use him? But he he also fell apart in – I mean, they just quit using him in Minnesota. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I, I, None of that made any sense He's to not going to be Randy Moss. No, I'm not saying that. But the guy is crazy talented. He's got speed at the yin-yang. If you saw him in the, in the second preseason game – he caught the ball. He juked that one dude to the ground. Just, just whiffed on him completely. Yeah, and then walked into the end zone. Oh yeah. Um, he's he's kind of got that kind of level moves. Excited to see how they use him, but I don't think he's going to be like a heavy pass catcher. Um, th- they're good. I mean, they're really really good. And it's this like division, even with all the dysfunction, this division is completely. Bad. Let, screw all the dysfunction at New the, England. What are the I'm talking odds? About. What are the odds? The odds. Do we have are, odds on them? Yes, this they division? went thirteen and three last year. Their over under this year is eleven. Okay, that's a game less than what it usually is. It's Their usually odds to win the division are minus eight fifty. Minus <laughs> eight fifty. A couple of weeks. How many? Ago, how many in a row have they won? Oh, oh God, I, I don't remember. What is well, it? Like, okay, eleven, Tom Brady, twelve. Tom Brady busted his knee, and oh, they uh, didn't win the season, and that was it. Like that's it. Okay, so like one time in, in what year was 12, it? That was after 13, it was after the two thousand four. I shouldn't know this. I actually can tell you that was right like the two thousand eleven season. I think no, it was two thousand seven. They went undefeated, and uh, so it was two thousand eight season. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, a decade ago. God bless America. So, but for the last decade, basically, they've won the East. You know how much that number has changed since the preseason game. Before the preseason game, it was I think it was a Friday night game. It was either Friday or Saturday night. Um, that was like minus 600, 650, and it's now like eight. Well, yeah, A.J. McCarron breaks his collarbone, so the they, Bills But are, hang on, but they lose. They they also, they lose their, their starting left tackle. Well, not starting left, or right tackle. Um, they they, they lose, lose Isaiah Wynn. Isaiah Wynn for the Sony season. Sonny Michelle is, is um, gone. He's still busted up, and, and the odds just get better and better, or worse yeah. and worse, depending on how you look at it. Whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, so it's. Do we want to go through the through the whole schedule? No, or? we don't need to go through the schedule. I I like this team. You, I do too. I think the schedule is it, it really sets up well for them. They got some hard games. They they do have hard games. Look, they're playing at Jacksonville. Here's their road schedule. Well, they, right? We'll do on. that. Let's uh, let let's talk about the big games. They open the season, and it is not it is not impossible for them to start out zero and two. Let's no, just no, make no. that clear. I, I'm I'm with you. They host Houston. Correct. And then they go to Jacksonville. Correct. So they're playing two AFC South teams. And I think they're better than both of them. I, I think Houston I with Deshaun Watson with coming back, first game back, I Bill, think that's going to be has, tough. Bill has a month to prepare for that young man. Yes. and then Now that he knows who he is. At Jacksonville. Look, I've got him losing at Jacksonville. Okay. But, my gosh, the only other, let's say, I've got him losing at Tennessee. I've got him losing at Pittsburgh. Okay. That's it. I got him 13-3. and three. I got them thirteen three. I don't have them losing any of those games. That's and see, 
But that's, the NFL is so crazy that's that it. it could just be kind of whatever. It could, like, they could lose I'll it I'll tell point. you this. I just can't see them falling off yet. Tom is 41 years old, and I know it's preseason. He, last he looks year, good. Last year he was 40, and he had the second best season that he's had in 10 years. Since they went undefeated it's, and lost to the it's Giants. It's pretty bonkers. Like, like, I don't see him. At, one day we're going to wake up and he's going to fall apart. I don't think it's going to be this year. I think you're probably right. I like this team, man. I do, too. They're winning, do too. They're winning the division at 13-3. and three. Uh, Yeah, I've got we, them winning. We, the, we yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right, absolutely. All right let's now. move on to the Buffalo Bills. All right, so they just lost A.J. McCarron, right? So that – Was not in line to win that starting job, by the way. No, he – like – he was in a competition. He Are was the favorite. You, wow. He, which which is why he started the second preseason he was, game. He was a narrow favorite. Very narrow favorite. Yeah. But, I mean, my gosh, it's Nathan Peterman and Josh Allen. And, I was about to say, it's yeah. kind of sad that it's that close. But yeah, it's not I, close anymore. It's, it's not close anymore. So, he'll, he'll be out for a little while. It's, it's a hairline fracture. Not good. They'll, they'll get it fixed up, and then he'll he'll come back out. But, I mean, those things are tough to come by. Um, 2017, they went 9-7 and seven with – Tarod Taylor. Tarod, I know. There's a little confrontation they, about his name. Yeah, it was it was strange. He's Everybody's, been in the league for like a decade, man. Yeah, they've called him Tyrod forever. They called him Tyrod at Virginia Tech. Heck, yeah. And then they come out and say it's it's Tarod. Tarod. Like, but I'm all right with we're, it. We're a little late on Either way, he ain't even on this team. So let's jump off this. Their over under this year is six. They went from they won nine games. They're picked to win six. Do you think they win six? No. I'm a no. lot. I think <laughs> their I odds think to win the team, division are plus one thousand. Well, yeah, no, that's not happening either. Yeah, I think this could be like they like to set tables on fire and jump through them. I, I think they're gonna be setting garbage on fire. I have not through. figured out what they did well. Like, I still don't know how they made the playoffs last year. I have Ty, not figured that out. Tyrod Taylor is a really good co- quarterback. I understand. We're that. gonna we're but, gonna get to that. But just looking at the nut, they finished 18th in total defense last year, 22nd in total offense. 22nd in, uh, let's see, what, scoring offense, and then 11th in scoring defense. And they made the playoffs. Look, quarterback Nathan Peterman, he is probably going to be their starter, and, and he's famous for oh having God. five interceptions in the first half against the Chargers the only in his first he, start last year. The only year. reason he doesn't have six is because they took him they out. Took him out. They took him out. They signed A.J. McCarron. They drafted Josh Allen. We'll just see what happens with that. Uh, the biggest story out of there is does LaShawn McCoy – get to play the whole season. If LaShawn McCoy doesn't play, they get the Detroit Cleveland goose egg, my opinion. I believe that. I mean, I they they I got, got him, real I issues. got them going 2 and 10 with McCoy. 2 and I mean, sorry, we're back in college days. 2 and 14 or 2 and 14. I, I got, got them 5 and 11. I can't see 5 wins. I got them 5 and 11. Bill's um, Mafia is going to come after me, but I don't see it. That's I see I got them I got them beating the Chargers. Just because the Chargers are coming in on a Sunday noon game, you know, got to fly cross country, whatever. Um, I mean, I, I got them winning at home against Chicago. Like, I got them starting one and seven. Uh, I got them beating the Jets. I got them beating Detroit. I got them beating Miami. Like, I and and even those are questionable at best. I just I, they found ways to win last year. I'm wondering if uh, Sean Mc. Uh, God, I just went blank. It's it's not McDermott, I don't think. No, not McDermott. Is it Mc? It's Sean McSomething. God, how? Terrible. Which one is Sean McVay? Is he Sean McVay? No, Sean McVay is in in the Rams. He's like the best coach on the planet right now. That's I don't remember what his name. Either way, I got him five and eleven. I could easily see this being how, three and thirteen. How terrible are we? We are breaking down this division, and no, we don't I know their coach. Just went. Bl- I didn't even write the note down, thinking that I wouldn't need it. It's Sean McSomething. It's Sean McDermott. Sean McDermott, okay. Yeah, Sean McDermott and Sean McVay coming in the league at the same time <laughs> this guy's, completely threw me. This this guy is kind of jacked, though. Like, he wears – he doesn't wear, like, the normal gear. He wears, like, the, the like, super tight fit shirts. Oh, yeah, because he's, like, he's like, pretty ripped. And, like, he, and he is jacked. Like, he's yeah. the one coach where, like – you wouldn't want to get in a bar fight with I'm that not, guy. <laughs> he fits in good at Buffalo. Like that guy can throw down with the best. He could of probably them. be in the mafia. I, he could I be think, in the Bills mafia. I, th- I think they're going two and fourteen. I think they're not going to win a lot of the games. They could. They, they could beat some of those teams that you said, but maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. We'll see. Miami Dolphins last year six and ten. They lost Ryan Tannehill last year. He's coming back. What does that mean? Like they lose Jay Cutler. Well, they lost. They lost Jarvis Landry. Yeah. They they lost Indomitian Sue. Uh they're over under is six and a half. 
They are plus 800 to win the division. That is the uh, the next best odds behind the Patriots. So you got minus 850 and then plus 800. So if you think the Dolphins are going to do some damage, man, you could make some money this year. Uh, can Tannehill stay healthy? That's the biggest question. They drafted Mika Fitzpatrick in the first round. Uh, look, they, they lost Jarvis Landry. They signed Danny Amendola. Uh, Danny I'm curious. Landry. Well, that's it's, see, uh, is is Amendola actually good, or was that mostly Brady? And I'm like, when Danny's, when guys leave New England, they don't tend to be no. But Dan, Danny's different. Danny can't separate. Danny can't really get open. Danny is great at one. He's got to have a quarterback throw him open. And he's Danny a, Danny is good at trash routes. Danny yeah. can catch a ball while he is being covered like a blanket. But that means he's going down. Like you're, and you got to have a quarterback that is super accurate. Well, because if you've got DBs that can really kind of pick a quarterback apart, that's a pick six waiting to happen. Yeah, because he's going to be covered. Exactly. So they uh, they traded uh, for Rams defensive end Robert Quinn. So they they they're boosting the defense. They're trying to get better defensively. Um, but they're not there, there yet. There is some. Uh, there's could, still questions. Could there be addition by subtraction by letting Sue go? No team has gotten better after Sue left them, but he seems to kind of be a problem all over the place. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't figure this team out. What What is their over-under? Over-under is six and a half. I got them, I got them winning four games. I got them five and 11. Same so record as the Bills. We're really close. We're four and 12. I, I, don't, I don't think any of these teams in this division are good. And I think they're all doing things to get, not to get better. There's not a quarterback in this division that scares me at all. No, I'm I'm with you. And we're going to talk about who I think of the second best quarterback is with this with, team. With the next team, New York Jets went five and eleven last year, which was actually a surprise. Right. Uh, and nobody expected anything. They thought maybe a goose egg with this team last year, but Josh McCown did pretty well. He got hurt, and then it was just whatever. Um, but he, you know, they went five and eleven. Their over under this year is six. To win the division, they are plus one thousand. They kept Josh McCown. They drafted Sam Darnold number three and got lucky with that one, right? Because yep. it, like everybody expected Darnold to go one. Uh, they signed Teddy Bridgewater, so their quarterback spot is significantly better. And I'm going to tell you this: Teddy Bridgewater has outplayed everybody. Yeah, he really has. I mean, that guy that guy needs to be on a starting roster. They should be trading. Get some picks for him. Well, you know what you need? You need some offensive linemen. You don't Maybe need well. picks. You need offensive linemen. True. Um, look, they uh, Bilal Powell returns, but they brought in Thomas Rawls and Isaiah Crowell. Like, running back looks a little bit better as far as depth goes now. All of those running backs are the exact same dude. Yeah, They're just which is bru- fine. They're but just they- bruisers that just... Hit the hole really hard. Right. They uh they have got offensive line and, and defensive problems. And I mean everything for this team rests really on Sam Darnold. Yeah, but it's not it's even tough. it's not his it's not his fault. No, no, no. It's it's tough for a, a rookie quarterback that has the world of expectations. Yeah. And then you don't have an offensive line that can protect you. Right? That's where this is gonna be an issue. Like they can't run block, they can't pass block. Like they, they have got to upgrade that position, and you can use Teddy Bridgewater to do to that. do that. Correct. So I would do that. I'd be selling that um, guy right now. The over under is six. Six. I got him. Um, I should have put the juice on here. The juice was like plus whatever, plus one twenty or one thirty. Yeah, they're like not going over. I, I got them four and twelve, just like Miami. Maybe three and thirteen. I got I, them three and thirteen. I don't think this is a good team. They're young. They're. I think they're. You going and I in the didn't right even direction. compare notes. No. And we're we're still pretty close on on, on some all of these. these. Let me tell you what I've got, and this is the truth. I've got seven, eight, nine. I got nine total wins for everybody else, and I got thirteen for Patriots. Has there ever been a division where if you add the other three teams' wins up, they don't equal? The number one team. Well, now that I'm thinking about it. I got the other two five and eleven, and this one three and thirteen. You got, you got so them, I've got, got them, them quite a bit. Yeah, you got them. I've yeah, got them right at thirteen. Quite a bit more wins. Man, yeah, that's. I, just, I don't think this division's good. I don't think so either. So we both got the Patriots winning the division. That is not a shocker at all. Sam Darnold, best of luck to you, buddy. Death taxes and the Patriots and the uh, AFC. You got that right. <laughs>